who might be the logic person who say theology. But there should be a striking balance. And what complicates this is the trends. There are trends that has come and has emerged in the world. There is a shift from what was norm before to what will become standard science. So what we call a standard science now is a view that is contrary to the alternative science. Creationist perspective of science and technology and worldviews that is connected to this are considered as alternatives today. They are seen as pigments of imagination rather than realities and fact. Today, the trend, the norm, became alternative science. That's true. Those of you who study more on the debate between creationism and natural science, natural science has become the norm. And look at the textbook published. You would hardly find textbook written from a creationist perspective or the concept of having an intelligent designer or designer. So friends, this trends shift in thought patterns as emerged discussions in worldviews. And when we talk about worldviews, I'd like to simply say worldviews are patterns of ideas. It answers a series of questions. Why are we here? Where am I going? Who am I? What will happen next? These are patterns. And when we talk about worldviews, as I've said, worldviews are patterns. It is a pattern of or set of ideas, beliefs, convictions, and the tangible things, habits, behavior, that help us make sense of God, the world, and our relationship with God and the world. These are all views. Now that's with the Adventist biblical Einstein. But from the other perspective, we see the patterns of ideas, beliefs, conviction, and behavior. And others, products, which is the artifacts. Uh, or products of a culture is also results of world views. Okay? I'm not here to dis discuss all the intricacies of it. But let me try to say this. Since these are patterns, world views are patterns. Our worldview does not merely reflect what we think. Follow me. Our worldview does not merely reflect what we think. Okay? How we think, what we think the world is like. Rather, it directs it directs what we think the world should be. This is the impact of world views. And by the way, when you teach your classes, what you pass to students are not simply lessons. Trust me. Many of the lessons will be forgotten. But the world view that you pass to your students will never be.